Thank you very much, everybody. Please. Thank you. Uh, nobody's seen anything like this for a long time. Sleepy Joe can't do this, that I can tell you. In fact, it was his problem with Obamacare that caused part of your problem. I don't use insulin. Should I be? Huh? I never thought about it. But I know a lot of people are very, uh, very badly affected. Right? Unbelievable. That's why my administration acted decisively. We slashed Obamacare's crippling requirements and opened up competition like they've never seen before. They've never seen competition like this. Between transparency and all of the other things we're doing, nobody's ever had a competitive — a competitive situation created like we've done it. And the prices, you will see very soon, they're going to come tumbling down. Then we brought all the parties to the table — insurers, manufacturers, and other key players — and reached an agreement to deliver insulin at stable and drastically lower out-of-pocket costs for our seniors. I hope the seniors are going to remember it, because Biden is the one that put us into the jam because they didn't know what they were doing. They were incompetent. Soon, nearly half of all eligible Part D and Medicare Advantage prescription drug plans will offer this low-cost option. And when you say low-cost, you're really talking low-cost, giving seniors the freedom and choice to pick the plan that's right for them. Nothing will ever stop me from fulfilling my solemn duty to America's seniors. I'll use every power at my disposal to lower drug prices, and my administration will always protect Medicare and Social Security. And by the way, pre-existing conditions. And we got rid of the individual mandate, which is a disaster. The worst part of Obamacare was the individual mandate. When we got rid of the individual mandate, essentially, we got rid of Obamacare, if you want to know the truth. You can say that in the truest form. But we got rid of a horrible, horrible condition called the individual mandate. But we'll always protect you on pre-existing conditions, much more so than the Democrats.